Thank you, Rachel. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to see what I can do about putting the shine on the bell. Now, um, I want to say the absolute clean white for the really high um, shine. So I'm going to start first by taking the color that's there and mixing it there or there or wherever and mixing it with white to put in the sort of next grade of shine. Because as you can see, it goes from dark to a sort of gray color to the, to the very bright. I've, um, I've reverted to, to Turks. No, I haven't. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There we are. Sorry about that. I haven't opened the pot. Start again. I've reverted to turps, so I'm not using oil for this. I'm using the turps. Um, but we're going to start over here, which is a sort of brown. So I'm mixing some of the burnt sienna with white. Now, I don't want too light a colour there. It's supposed to be fairly dark. It's quite grey, isn't it? So quite a lot of the you know, that will do. This is quite difficult to do here. Right, I'm just going to look at this surface of the bell first. So it comes down here. Goes round the bell. Sorry, darling. Goes round the bed, the bell. But comes straight down here and starts to move out. Now I don't want that to be so definite a line, so I'm taking it back with my finger a little bit. And that goes on. Perhaps a little darker. I'll add some small bits sienna. It goes on a little darker down here. Thin line. I'll do about the thin lines later. And then in this very decorative piece at the bottom here, um, I'm, there is a bit of dark, so I put the dark in first and put the lighter part on afterwards. Right, so that's reasonably all right. Uh, Now I'm going to clean the brush and look at the next place over here. Over here it's more purpley, so I'm going to take some of the purple. Ed, we can't see the reference photo. Sorry. Thank you. I'm going over here. This part here is purple, so I'm taking some of the ultramarine and mixing it with the purple. That's too light. I'm taking some more of the purple. It's quite a dark colour here. And this is more here. If it's got a lot of light on top of it, I'm just going to cover it because I can put that light back.
and by approaching that line from either side, I've <laughs> just gone spot it now, Monday. I can get a thin line of dark there, which comes down to here. And there's a bit here. There's quite a bit here too. And of course on the bottom of the bell. Right, now I think I could take that a bit darker in the center. I'm adding more the ultramarine violet to take it down here. Head. Sorry. <laughs> and then finally, when we clean the brush again, when we get out here, it's more of a um, what well, that is. There is a little crimson, I think. So I'm going to add a little bit of crimson to the mix. Now here it practically disappears into the background, so I don't want to make too much of this, but there is some. Right. Now, if we continue that up here, that seems to be okay. That's dark. This has got a little touch of the Right, now I'll go back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Go back and introduce a bit more light. So I'm still mixing the, um, the color with white. I want to catch, I think this is too thick. I think I need a thinner brush for that. Right, if I take the um, Rossi the burnt sienna, there's quite a lot more white. Where this band underneath the garter emblem is, it's actually quite light. And a thin band of light catching Head. there. And underneath here, and if we look at the other side, over here, that swoops round over here and then comes up here. Which is a bit there. Let's see the sea of Victoria. It 
two. Well, this is probably not the right turn to be doing this. Take a little more of the um, ultramarine violet. Just a matter of trying to assess the different tones as you as you come along. Right. Um, now this is a sort of indeterminate pale grey here, but I'm going to add a little bit of the. Um, but sienna to the mix so that it's not overwhelming. Right. Go back to the Ed. Sorry, darling. <laughs> I think we didn't get the camera in quite the right place this time. Okay. I will. This is quite pernickety sort of stuff because you're trying to build up the um, um, how aspects of the, the sparkle on the thing so you're you're having to look and make decisions all the time about light Ed. Now, if um, show you what I'm aiming at, I'm trying for practically neat white. A couple of little marks up there. Definitely catching there. Good one, Daphne. Oops. The trouble about painting wet on wet, of course, is that you pick up the under underlying paint. You don't get the effect that you're after quite so easily.
read it down here. The marks repeat themselves. To watch the point on the brush if you if you've got something small to do. It's practically Jones now. And continues around here. Right touch there. And this. Head. Sorry. I'm terrified of telling you and jogging your elbow when you're painting. Yeah, you're all right, Pat. Okay. Head. So I've gone on to do this a little bit early because I'm very conscious of the fact there's not a lot of time. Um, so um, I wouldn't have been doing this quite so early if it wasn't that it's a demonstration and I wanted you to have some idea, some handle on how to to catch the light. On the bell. Right now, this isn't quite so white, it's more white, but it's not that white. It's far too thick then. Ed. <laughs> I'm trying not to put them down as random dots. They're actually little flowers, so they, they can go in a sort of flowery shape. 
once you've got the undercolour down, you can put the tiny, tiny highlights on. This is akin to putting the light spot on an eye. That's too thick. I've been skating around doing that medallion. <laughs> uh, because it, oh, yeah, it's a bit exciting. Um, so I'll take some of the, um, the dark. You're not, you're not going to get anything lovely accurate unless you go to a very tiny brush and spend weeks and weeks and weeks over it. Uh, but you can get an approximation uh, of the light and shade. I think that should actually be more of an ultramarine and there's a darker color. And then we've got quite a dark area here. Ed. The camera keeps focusing on your hair. Oh, how exciting for it. Um, I think this needs to be darker here. So I'm going to take some, I've got white on the brush. So if I pick up some, uh, much more violent and try to get the dark in from there. That up there is very light. That is white. And it's losing the point. Ed. Not going to show. Mm 
Oof. Well, it's beginning to come a little bit. So if I'm going to work down here, I don't want the white of this tassel to fight with the bright on the bell. So I'll be mixing it with a touch of blue to um, take some of the shine off. And we've got something down here. It's a bit high, isn't it? It's there. Ed. Ten minutes. Right out. Then we have a stripey bit here to about there. There's some more of these little dobby things. And the tassel. Comes down here. That's just to give an indication of where it is actually, because that's not really well done at all. It's, um, it needs a different brush to do that. I just wanted to give some impression of the length of it. So if we go now to here, this isn't finished. It's just uh, I want to give you some idea what it, how the thing looks like. Oh my dear, point. Right. Yeah. That's it, right. Yeah. Back to my grey up here. That's not very good. Series of little dots come down here. This is also that's too low. And I can go higher up. I hope I'm getting this in the right place in the square here. Yeah. Add. And this has got a series of dots where the light is catching the design. Again, I wouldn't put those in now, normally. Um,
Yeah, a touch of light to the top of that. And what are spots are actually? Hi. Right, and then you would obviously have to move those little dots around here. The bell actually comes out to about here. And there's all one or two very tiny, not quite bright spots there. And of course, you carry on the decoration around there. But that gives you some idea of how you would tackle it. I've hurried it so that you could see, get some idea of the finish. Um, it needs a, a lot more care and attention to the nuances of the light and shade to make it really effective. And this course needs to be um, organized better down here. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave the painting at that. Uh, just to remind you that next week we are in the hall and I'll be doing watercolour. We are still going to do uh, online for those of you who can't make it to the hall. Uh, I'm just, I have booked the hall, so I'm just going to open up and if only three people come, well, that's life. So we'll start next week in the hall for as many of you as can make it.